Welcome back. In this demonstration, we are going to start designing the template for our main stabile piece and our stabilizing piece for our stabile sculpture. In your homework, you drew a side version of your stabile sculpture base including where you would like to have the stabilizing piece here and you drew from the back where the stabilizing piece would be slotted into the main piece and how your main hanging pieces were going to work out all right and then just to show you what this is going to look like in the final this is my stabilizing no sorry this is my main uh st stabile piece this one i created asymmetrically and this is my stabilizing piece here. This one is a little bit more symmetrical. And what you're going to end up having to do is taking these two slots here and slotting it into your main piece like this. This is going to allow your sculpture to stand on the ground and be triangulated. If I turn this over this way, you can see how I have a triangle shape from here to here and here. And this piece kind of stabilizes, that's why I'm calling it the stabilizing piece, will stabilize that triangulation so that when you're having your stabile standing on the ground it will be nice and sturdy all right now today you're going to create the designs and create the templates and make sure that it all fits together you're going to need a nine by nine inch piece of cardboard and a nine inch by nine inch piece of paper that will go along with this piece of your drawing and you'll need a 9x6 piece of cardboard and a 9x6 piece of paper that will go along with this piece of your drawing. All right. Now, getting started, we'll cut out our templates to draw and cut out our templates first, and then we will move on to the slotting. All right. So let's pretend that uh, this is what we're looking for at the end. Here's one of my pieces, and here's the other piece, and these two pieces will go together, main piece and the stabilizing piece. Okay. So for our main piece, here I have an example of a symmetrical symmetrical piece and here is a piece designed asymmetrically. You can see how this one is exactly the same on both sides and this one is different here and different on this side. Okay. In this video I'm going to show you how to do this symmetrical version and uh, I'll walk you through making an asymmetrical version. So you'll start first with your 9 by 9 inch piece of cardboard or sorry paper and you'll fold it in half. Then making sure that you save the fold, which will be the center crease, you're going to draw your design on one side starting at the top. I'm going to curve it down, curve it out, in, and exit my line right here on the corner. I want my stabil sculpture to be as wide as possible. Also, I want to save this corner here so that it becomes the extra foot in the front. So I'm going to just create the empty shape here that I'm going to cut out to have a little negative space and this will then be my symmetrical stabile main piece. If I wanted this to be asymmetrical and create a different design on this side maybe I want to cut that out so it's different on this side and let's say I want to since this one's more triangular I want to go like that and continue to save this main piece. Now this could be an asymmetrical design. There are of course hundreds and thousands of different designs you could come up with and that's totally up to you. That is your artistic choice to come up with whatever you'd like. Now once you do that uh, and you figure that that's uh, what you want it to look like, then you're going to cut out your template. Okay? Very easy, just you know, cut along the line, super basic, first grade skills, nothing that we should be con too concerned about. Um, and that piece being symmetrical now, I'm going to cut the bottom piece out. And that likewise should then be symmetrical. So let's take this as my main piece of my stabile sculpture. I've got that done. And as you notice, if I take my 9 by 9 inch piece of cardboard that I'll end up cutting in just a moment, uh, my sculpture goes from top to bottom corner to corner and I've not made this central area too thin that it will uh, be bendy or fall apart once I get there. Okay, setting that piece aside now we'll work on drawing the design for our stabilizing piece. So our stabilizing piece being the piece that's going to have the slots in it like this you want to design it based on what you drew in your homework 
and you want it to go from side to side and maybe not top from bottom you can you can adjust that because if you go all the way up to the top you might run into trouble sliding it into your um, stabile sculpture so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna again make this piece symmetrical all right and I know that I wanted um, the piece out here to be a little bit taller so I'm just gonna go up and down and I'm gonna plan on having my slot about there and I'm gonna bring this piece back up and curve it out like that now if you wanted to have it be asymmetrical again you could design it however you want maybe you're gonna have this follow the same triangle theme that the other piece had uh, whatever you want yours to look like again that is your artistic choice and I'm going to leave that up to your best judgment as long as I hope you are following your design and your overall theme for your sculpture so I'm just gonna cut this out I'm not really following my line there sorry um, but I want to wanted it to be a little more curved than I had drawn it okay so if I open this up now this is my symmetrical design and it should as you see go from corner to corner at least and try to make this area I don't know at least an inch tall mine is probably about an inch and a quarter here um, but try to give yourself enough room there so that your your uh, piece down here doesn't get too wiggly as we move forward now once you have these two pieces done you're going to need to figure out where these slotted bits are so that at the end, when you have both of these pieces done, you can slide them together like so. All right, so taking that into consideration, um, I am going to set my cardboard aside for the moment and I'm going to work exclusively with my templates. Now I want you to figure this part out before before you start on your cardboard and I want you to show me how these slots are going to line up so if I take this and, and explain what I'm meaning if you take this piece of paper and you keep this piece of paper flat and you slide the two together where do these pieces line up okay I want this piece to be almost a 90 degree angle so if I hold it here and I show you it like this you can see it's a 90 degree angle okay then I want the other piece I'm sorry this is so close to the camera I want the other piece to slide in just like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda gently hold this as 90 degrees as I can and I'm going to mark on here which I just saw I'm gonna mark a little slot here and a little slot here those are going to be slot marks that I'm going to cut out in just a moment. Now I'm going to hold it back here and see if that truly lines up. Okay, good. That actually looks pretty close. Now, the end of my slot marks is lining right up with this line here and this line here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just slot these a little bit and slide my piece in this piece of paper now should slide up into this right slot and the left slot and kind of be secure in there and if I stand this up now it's standing up and one thing you can't see here based on the camera is that there's too much space underneath here I can slide my pencil right under there because this little foot here is not touching the, the, the top of the table so what I need to do is I need to cut these slots down just a bit alright so I'm gonna cut these ones down just a bit and if you slide these two pieces together this direction which won't be perfect let's just do one of them if I slide this piece in here you can see these two pieces here you can see this line right here where the slot goes down I need to get this much uh, I need to bring the the piece down this much which is I don't know if I take my pencil and measure it it's probably about a quarter of an inch so if I measure that and I start from here down to there I need to cut about this far down okay and you can measure it with a ruler but what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that that slot 
on both of these sides here fits so that when this uh, main piece is slotted into the stabilizing piece, the feet actually rest on the table. Now this side over here, excuse my hand, this side over here, this foot still is not touching the ground, okay? Whereas this foot is touching and that foot is touching in the front. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slot this piece down just a bit further. Now, the whole purpose of this is so once you get to the cardboard, you know where your slots are gonna be and you can cut them ahead of time. This is gonna save you from monkeying around with your cardboard and getting frustrated. Okay, now the triangulation is happening. It's working well. This foot in the front here, sorry, you can't really see it. Let me put it back here. This foot in the front here is touching and these two feet in the back are also touching. And now you can see that this piece is standing up straight. Then what I can do is I can go back and cut out just a little teeny bit about the thickness this direction of a cardboard piece of cardboard and those are going to be my slots now notice what I've done I've uh, made these slots into both sides the main piece and the stabilizing piece and I've cut a little slot into the main piece and a little slot into the stabilizing piece so that both pieces are sliding together. They'll be more interlocked that way and they'll form a better uh, union that way so that your sculpture will be more stable. Okay, so there's my two slots for the stabilizing piece and my two slots here for my main piece I'm cutting out. These will again be stabilizing and, and, and keeping that sculpture stuck nicely together. Now that I've got those slots, they'll slide together nicely and I can d take those slots and draw them into my cardboard design as well. Okay, so here again looking at it, front and sides are all working out. And what you want to do is you want to have a little bit of the slot coming in on your stabilizing piece and a little bit on your uh, main sculpture piece because if you have this distance from here to here too small, your cardboard will want to bend there and it will get weak. Okay, once you've finished cutting out the templates, bring them to me, show them to me so that I can ensure you've got um, a good stabilizing piece and a good main piece and that the two are going to work long term for your sculpture.